It's Tuesday, February 7th, 2012. I'm Curtis Hollister, and we're watching 52 Week Low, the show that profiles public companies at or around their 52 Week Low. Today, we're talking about Abercrombie & Fitch, trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol ANF. And joining me, as he has in the past, is Dana Blankenhorn, a top contributor on Seeking Alpha. Dana, welcome Howdy. to the show. Good to talk to you. So, Dana, they say clothes make the man. Do clothes make the investor? Well, uh, different clothes at different times. Uh, a and F, Abercrombie and Fitch, is a high-end or middle to high-end youth-oriented retailing group, and uh, those are the kind of people that were hit really, really hard by the recession. Mm -hmm. uh, so they blamed their bad Christmas on a promotional environment and high cotton costs. But uh, the real bottom line is, is young people didn't have money to spend last Christmas. I mean, and as well, too, I was down in Florida for the holidays. And I mean, everybody seemed to be having these big sales going on, you know, 60, 70, 80 percent off on a lot of things. Not a lot of margin after that, I'm guessing. Yeah, there was a lot of marking down last Christmas. Uh, it was very much a get as much as you can for as little as you can kind of Christmas. Uh, a value-oriented Christmas. Um, most of last year was that way. People were trying to live as though the recession weren't real. Uh, they were doing all sorts of things to try and maintain their lifestyle at the cost of time uh, in order to uh, appear to not be suffering as much as they were suffering. Exactly. I mean, when we look at this company, these guys are, are top of the food chain as far as the retail audience goes. I mean, they are literally what the cool kids are wearing. I mean, they've got a number of different brands. Um, obviously, they get huge extra marks for their brand Hollister company, um, which, you know, I can relate to quite, uh, quite easily. But, you know, are all these different brands just segmenting their markets or are they cannibalizing them? Well, it's a very competitive market out there. The main thing is that uh, the, the management is well respected. Uh, this is, was not considered a, um, a a set of mistakes by management, as it were, uh, and uh, as opposed to simply that was the way it was. Uh, now the stock has been hit, and that's why we're talking about it now on fifty two week low. But most analysts have a price target that averages $63 a share. Well, with the stock trading in the 40s, um, that's not too bad. Today, by the way, it gained 1.4%. Uh, it's down about 23% for the last three months, about 8% on the year. Yeah, it seems like it's one of those stocks that people have been in. They want to see how Christmas went. A lot of people exited based on the numbers. You know, creates a re every exit creates a re-entry point, obviously. Are, are these guys playing in international markets at all? Like, I mean, are they starting to get into that, you know, um, alluring Asian market with some of their products? Because typically these other cultures look at these brands and they go, hey, oh, listen, I want to wear what whatever the, the coolest, latest thing is. Yeah, I, I went there. <laughs> Not this Christmas, but a few Christmases ago, I went there. Their stock is going down as you just something. said that, Dana. <laughs> I, I am not the target market. <laughs> <laughs> they would probably consider my going there a negative. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we did these these segments in black and white and uh, um, and shirtless, it might be a little bit better. But I think our audience would be going down dramatically if we did that. My kids, they want my kids to go there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This seems to be the under twenty five age group, more specifically under twenty, probably. Yeah, and and you know, people who uh, care a lot about how they look, which lets my son out of it. But uh, my daughter is finally starting to dress a little bit better. Uh, and uh, she might be in the target market for them. I mean, I think with all of these guys, they come out with new brands. They come out with the kind of the new clothes. It depends on their promotion that year based on their ad campaign. You see that with The Gap. You see that with some of these other, um, other, other companies. If they put the right campaign together at the right season, they get a, a good bump. Like you said, this seems to be a well-managed company. It's a company that does give a dividend to its investors. Yes, they do. Uh, and they have not dropped the dividend in the face of uh, these poor results, which means they expect things to uh, turn around soon. Now, you've got a better economy right now. 
Uh, you've got a lot of young people, who are, especially those in the tech professions, who are starting to find jobs now. Uh, there was a recent report out about uh, the called the app economy, uh, talking about something like um, 300 some odd thousand jobs that have just that have been created over the last several years, programming jobs and and back office sorts of jobs, most of which are going to young people. Yeah. Uh, in creating and, and maintaining uh, apps of various sorts. And a lot of these Facebook, jobs, you're not wearing, you're not wearing a suit and tie. So the jobs are there. Yeah, these guys aren't wearing a suit and tie to work. They're wearing jeans and a T-shirt. Uh, this is true. But the people who work in the front of the shop, they have to dress for success. Sure, of course, of course. So we've got a well-managed company, by all accounts. We've got a company that obviously the board has been committed to the dividend and making sure those investors that came in based on there being a dividend stay. We've got it as a- Well, this is, this is a really good illustration of why buying at a 52-week low kind of makes sense. And that is, this is a fashion business. Hmm. A fashion business is a fashion business. Uh, the price of the stock follows the fashion. Okay, when you're out of fashion, as they were last Christmas, the stock follows suit, the stock goes down. But over time, fashions come and go. But good retailing is, is blocking and tackling. Good retailing goes on forever. These guys are known to be good retailers. Uh, when they stop being good retailers, uh, you should, that's when you get out. Yeah, I mean, by all accounts, they do seem to be at the top of the food chain. Their in-store experience, you know, I've been in those stores. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. And most times you go in there, there's lots of people. You go into a Hollister and Company store, there's lots of people in there. You go into an Abercrombie mm -hmm. & Fish store, there's typically lots of people. I know this has been a down season, but they know how to uh, generally get people into the stores. And now with the new kind of campaigning tools where they're basically sending their customer base and engaging their customer base with an email of the day saying, listen, if you show up between these hours, we give you this kind of discount. The Gap is doing that to a T right now. You know, that drives these blips that they need when they need them. And I, I, a lot of these companies have systematized these, this approach, and obviously Abercrombie is one of them. This is the kind of company that really needs to make sure they have an app strategy and a social media strategy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you have to meet your customers where they are. And I mean, every one, every one of these guys is on Facebook. So mm -hmm. any other comments on the company? They seem to be kind of a, a possibly a good buy right now, given the market. And obviously, you're going to be holding the stock for six to 12 months to, to try and get it at that 60 to $70 range number. Any other comments in closing? Well, just remember that uh, what you're looking for in retailing is uh, good, steady management performance over time. Mm. Uh, fashions come and go. Uh, good years, there are good years, there are bad years. It's not something that you can necessarily control. Uh, but um, when they hit, when they have a good year, that's when you want to consider getting out. Absolutely, absolutely. Dana, thanks so much for your time. Uh, and uh, we'll definitely take a look at this stock. If you'd like more information on Dana Blankenhorn, you can visit his profile on Seeking Alpha. If you'd like more information on public issuers or videos from industry experts, you can visit InvestorChannel.tv. I'm Curtis Hollister, and you're watching 52 Week Low.